everyone to respected principal teachers and all my batchmates i shweta jaina i sagarika prashad and i simran agarwal would like to enlighten you in the life and the teachings of swami vivekananda with our little presentation early life and education swami vivekananda was born as narendranath danda in a bengali family in his ancestral home at gormohan mukherjee street in calcutta the capital of british india on 12 january 1863 during the makar sankranti festival he belonged to a traditional family and was one of the nine siblings his father vishwanath danda was a attorney at the Calcutta High Court Durga Charan Dutta Narendra's grandfather was a Sanskrit and Persian scholar who left his family and became a monk at the age of 25 His mother Bhubaneshwari Devi was a housewife The progressive rational attitude of Narendra's father and the religious temperament of his mother helped shape his thinking and personality Narendra Nath was interested in spirituality from a young age and used to meditate before the images of deities such as Shiva, Ram, Sita and Mahavir Hanuman. He was fascinated by wandering ascetics and monks. Narendra was a mischievous and restless as a child and his parents often had difficulty controlling him. His mother also said once that I prayed to Shiva for a son, but he sent one of his demons to me. Now, moving on towards his educational history. In 1879, after his family's return to Calcutta from Raipur, he was the only student to receive the first division marks in the Presidency College entrance examination. He was also interested in Hindu scriptures, including the Vedas. Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita, with Ramayana, Mahabharata, and also the Purana. Narendra was trained in Indian classical music and regularly participated in physical exercise, sports, and organized activities. Narendra studied Western logic, Western philosophy, and European history at the General Assembly's institution, now known as the Scottish Church College. One of the major aspects of uh, Swami Vivekananda's life was meeting Ramakrishna. In 1881, Narendra first met Ramakrishna, who became his spiritual focus after his own father had died. And after Ramakrishna's death too, his devotees and admirers stopped supporting his principles. Unpaid rent accumulated, and Narendra and other disciples. Had to find a new place to live as they had no house left. So Narendra decided to convert a neglected house uh, at Baranagar into a new math or the monastery. The math became the first building of Ramakrishna math, the monastery of the monastic order of Ramakrishna. Now we will see about his life ahead when he started traveling to India. So moving towards his travel to India. Yeah. So in 1888, Narendra left the monastery as a paripratika, which means the which means the Hindu religious life of a wandering monk without fixed abode, without ties, independent and strangers wherever they went. His sole possessions were a water pot, staff, and his two favorite books, which were the Bhagavad Gita. and the imitation of the tribes narendra traveled exten extensively in india for five long years visiting centers of learning and acquainting himself with diverse religious traditions and social patterns he developed sympathy for the suffering and poverty of the people and resolved to uplift the nation during his 
travels, he met and stayed with Indians from all religions and walks of life. Scholars, divans, rajas, Hindus, Muslims, Christians, low caste workers and also government officials. On 31st May 1893, Narendra left Bombay for Chicago with the name as suggested by Ajit Singh of Kidney, Vivekananda, which in which the two Sanskrit words Vivek and Anand means the bliss of discerning wisdom. Philosophical Society, 1896, 
Lectures from Colombo to Almora, 1897. Bandaman Bharat, written in Bengali. My Master, 1901. Jnana Yoga, published posthumously. His works published after his death in 1902 are as follows. Bhakti Yoga, The East and the West, 1909. Inspired Talks, 1909. And Complete Works, a collection of his writings lectures and discourses in a set of nine volumes. Now let us move on to Mahatmadi. Swami Vivekananda attained Mahasamadhi on July 4th, 1902 at Belur Mot during meditation. Swamiji fulfilled his prophecy that he would not live 40 years. He was cremated on a sandalwood funeral pyre on the back of the Ganga in Belu, opposite where Ram Krishna was cremated 16 years earlier. To conclude, I would like to say that Swami Vivekananda is one of the most influential people of modern India and Hinduism. Many esteemed personalities, including Mahatma Gandhi, Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bosch, and Bal Gangadhar Pillar, and many more have spoken highly of him. Rabindranath Tagore rightfully suggested, if you want to know India, study Vivekananda. In him, everything is positive and nothing negative. On 12th January, we celebrate National Youth Day, so as to reminisce Swamiji and his teachers.